Conservative site-specific recombination is the protein-regulated process by which DNA rearrangements occur. This process can lead to DNA insertions, deletions, or inversions. The type of rearrangement depends on both the position and order of recombination sites on the sections of DNA involved. This will be explained in further detail later in the video. These recombinations are mediated by proteins known as recombinases. In this video, we'll be focusing on the mechanism of tyrosine recombinases, which break and repair DNA strands one at a time. To fully illustrate the mechanism of site-specific recombination, we'll begin by examining an insertion recombination, in this case, mediated by a protein called Cre recombinase. The red and orange strands are a set of circular double-stranded DNA, and the light and dark blue strands are a separate section of double-stranded DNA. The yellow and pink sections of the DNA are known as recombinase recognition sequences. Insertions occur when these recombinase recognition sequences are found on separate strands of DNA. These symmetrical pairs of sequences are recognized and bound by recombinase proteins. The area in between these recombinase recognition sequences is known as the crossover region. This area is where DNA cleavage and rejoining occur. Combined, the recombinase recognition sequences and the crossover region are known as the recombination site. Tyrosine recombinases, like Cre recombinase, have four subunits, each of which are responsible for the breaking and annealing of a single strand of DNA. As the mechanism proceeds by breaking and rejoining a single pair of DNA strand at a time, only two subunits are active at any one time. These subunit pairs have been color-coded as green and purple. The recombination mechanism consists of five steps. The first step is the recognition and binding of the recombinase recognition sequences, the yellow and pink sections, by the Cre recombinase protein. This is called the synapsed substrate DNA. After the complex is formed, the first strand cleavage step occurs. Tyrosine residues on the green Cre recombinase subunits each attack and cleave the outside strands of DNA, forming a covalent protein DNA intermediate between the tyrosine residue and the 5' phosphate end of the cleaved DNA. This is known as the Cre DNA Intermediate 1. Following cleavage, the first strand exchange step occurs. The three prime hydroxyl groups from the cleaved DNA attack the covalent bond of the protein DNA intermediate on the opposite subunit, essentially swapping DNA strands and annealing together to form a holiday junction intermediate. After forming the holiday junction, the second strand cleavage step occurs. In this step, the purple Cre recombinase subunits are active, and the green subunits are now inactive. This switching is critical for the progress of recombination and ensures sequential strand exchange. As in the first strand cleavage step, a tyrosine residue from each subunit attacks and cleaves the inside strands of DNA, forming a protein DNA intermediate. This is known as Cre DNA Intermediate 2. The fifth and final step in this mechanism is the second strand exchange step. Like the first strand exchange step, the free 3' three hydroxyl group attacks the protein DNA intermediate on the opposite subunit and anneals together, resolving the holiday junction. The insertion is now complete such that the Cre recombinase can dissociate from the DNA and what is left is the red and yellow DNA successfully integrated into the light and dark blue DNA strands.